Welcome to another video. This is JP1970 coming to you from the beautiful Ribby Valley. This is my 10,000 mile review of the 2019 Harley Davidson Heritage. And uh, a couple of things I want to talk about, like that right there cruise control. The 2019 Harley Davidson Heritage has cruise control with the push of a button. Your hands free. Now that, wait, that may not be a good thing, but uh, let's say you're not hands free, but let's say that you can set your cruise and you can ride, and if you want to rest your throttle hand, you're free to do so. I do, however, recommend keeping at least one hand on the handlebars. The thing that I really like about this bike, notice this right here. This is a, uh, uh, a USB cable that I have you traced it down it's plugged into the USB port on the side of the motor and I'm free to charge my phone now uh, that's a very nice feature because when you're especially when you're out on a long ride and you're using the map function of your phone it drains your battery pretty darn quickly and it's nice to be able to recharge that while you ride like I'm doing right now the other thing that I really love about this bike is it's got this nice windshield right here now this is the stock factory windshield it's easily removable if you uh if you decide you don't want it on maybe for some around town riding why uh it's easy as one two three you can pop this thing right off another great thing about this bike is it comes with 114 milwaukee 8 motor this thing is an absolute torque monster here let's see let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm cruising along at 50 miles an hour in fourth gear and a little twist of the throttle and I'm already up to 80. Boom! Just like that. She, you know, another feature that I really like is the this, it's got all these different, this button right here, it take, gives you all this different information. It tells you how many, it's got the trip odometer A and B, so you can use that to keep track of your mileage. It's got the range feature, tells you how many miles still empty. And you know, this feature, now I've, I don't know, I've, I don't think I've ever had this on another bike. Uh, this, you know, miles to empty or range, but it actually fluctuates depending on your driving style. So if you're cruising down the highway at 100 miles an hour, it's going to tell you that, you know, at that speed, under those conditions, you're going to be empty in X amount of miles. But if I'm just cruising through the country like I am right now, it's telling me that I've got 93 miles to empty. So it just depends on how you're riding the bike, how, you know, how much throttle you're giving it and how fast you're going and it actually adjusts depending on your driving habits that is absolutely very cool um, another another nice thing is obviously it's got a clock it tells you what gear you're in it gives you a gear indicator and you don't have to guess uh, what gear you're in so that is very cool but I really like how you've got your separate controls that are the same on all Harley Davidson. So for example, you've got your right turn indicator on the right side of the handlebars. You've got your left turn indicator on the left side of the handlebars. And both of these are self-canceling. So uh, they, you're not gonna be driving around all day long with your blinker on people are going to be wondering when you're going to be turning so i love that you know it's got your your uh your mode switch it's got your light switches it's got your horn and it's got your high beams your turn indicator and your cruise indicator all on the left side of the handlebar and then on the right it's got your on off your emergency flashers and your right turn indicator so it's very intuitive to me it just makes sense I know on uh, you know other bikes maybe you have the turn indicator on the left side of the handlebar and you got to pick you know which one I, I never did that never really made sense to me 
the Harley Davidson makes sense. It's intuitive. This is JP1970 back with you. Hope you enjoyed a little bit of that scenic ride through the canyon. Uh, so to sum up this review, this 10,000 mile review, the number one thing I just have to say is 10,000 miles in 11 months. That means I like riding this bike and so will you. I'm quite confident. Uh, it's just a real pleasure. It's super comfortable. Uh, the forward controls are outstanding. These mini Ape handlebars that come on the bike are extremely comfortable and you can just get out and ride this thing 40 miles or I've ridden it as much as 400 miles in a day. And you know to me that's one heck of a day of riding. So uh, and I'm sure that you know, given the right circumstances, I could even ride it longer than 400 miles in a day. But that's my personal best. Uh, to sum it up, guys, this is not your grandpa's heritage. This thing is sleek and sexy. I've heard it compared to a young Elvis, which, uh, I don't know, I'll leave that to you, you guys. I guess that was, yeah, I guess I could say that, sure. The young Elvis, young thin, gyrating Elvis, sure, sure, sure. Let me pull over here and let's, uh, let's just admire this beauty real quick. There is the 2019 Harley Davidson Heritage in the Wicked Red. It's actually a two-tone Wicked Red and then I forget what they call the cherry, but there's a little cherry in there too. So, yes, yes, there she is. Absolutely love this bike. So there she is, I absolutely love this bike. It is a dream. Now obviously I've added a few things. First thing I did was I had the that hub, that dog bowl thing, whatever, removed. Next thing I did was I changed out the seat, I put a Mustang seat on it. The next thing I did, well, let me back up. The first thing I did was I had the pipes upgraded to the Vance and Hines slip-ons. I had the Screaming Eagle Super Tuner added all through the dealer. Uh, my 1,000 mile review, I had the donut or the uh, dog bowl thing removed. Um, the next change I made was probably the grips out of these black mirrors added the sissy bar which I just think gives it a really cool kind of a distinct look I added the uh, windshield bag and the engine guard with the highway pegs I'm trying to think what else did I do oh I did the stage two uh, torque cam 447 and I honestly uh, I don't think the bike needed it now that you know I've had the I've had it done and everything but I sure don't regret it it uh, 
I mean, this thing was quick and responsive, and now it's even more so. So again, this is not your grandpa's heritage, everybody. This is the 2019 Harley-Davidson Heritage with the Milwaukee 8. I give it two enthusiastic thumbs up. And that's been my 10,000 mile review. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. This is your pal, JP1970. And I encourage you, be safe, everybody. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.